Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a hand throttle on the Jeep. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do a long time. I think it'll really help out on the trails. Uh, it'll help creepy crawling through the forest and have like a makeshift cruise control as well. So basically, from the title, you know that this Jeep here is getting a hand throttle. I ordered this kit from Terraflex. Actually, I got it off of eBay. It was like 40 bucks. But basically, it comes with everything you need. This is specifically for Jeep, but this is no longer really a Jeep. Um, so I probably could have got a universal one, but this one will work just fine. So basically, it comes with the cable and some sheathing for it you got the throttle and you've got mounting brackets as such here as well some nuts bolts other doodads in there so basically how this works if you don't know it is a throttle cable that you attach to your shifter and it'll go something like this. And this, well, this is how, this is how I'm gonna mount it up. And basically, how this works, well, I can get my phone to stay still, is you got a throttle cable that runs through here and goes obviously to the throttle. You can use this hand throttle to either set a specific desired RPM or put it back down you can turn this here loosen loosen it loosen it up a little bit and you can use it as a actual throttle where it's nice and loose right here so the spring tension of the throttle body or in my case the return spring We'll pull it back down and you can sit there and hold your shifter have your hand on your shifter and control the throttle with your finger instead of your feet obviously being manual transmission uh, you see these a lot the, a lot of these upgrades or people doing these upgrades a lot and uh, like rock crawling and hill climbing and whatnots where you really need to work the brake and the clutch, but you also need gas as well. So, you know, most people only have two feet. So it gets a little difficult, but you throw a hand throttle on there and it makes things a whole lot easier where you can kind of just set an RPM if you want or simply use your finger instead of trying to use feet and dancing on pedals down here. So yeah, we're gonna get in this in this install. Something I've been wanting to do a while. I finally went ahead and bought the parts. So let's get in it. All right, so first step in this is going to be obviously removing the shifter knob and installing the throttle bracket. Um, it comes with this rubber bushing that you slide over and the throttle actually squishes down on the rubber to give it for a tight fit. It comes like this, so you're gonna have to pre-drill it out and kind of wallow this hole out to make it fit on uh, your shifter. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got it mounted. I ended up not using this rubber grommet just because my shifter is so much thicker than I don't know, with this piece, I'd probably only have an eighth of an inch. Um, so what I ended up doing was actually just using electrical tape. I wrapped it around, and got it tight, nice and snug now. Um, I wanted to put it on the shifter, but the bolt that comes with it's not long enough, and I didn't have any on hand that was the same thread pattern, but this works. This feels most comfortable for me. Uh, it doesn't hit anything. And I can simply just grab it with my fingers, 
like the last couple fingers and pull throttle up and have a set speed like that i could even have like a high idle if i wanted um basically what it is that's all it is you just incremental you know that's probably wide open right there anyways with that amount of movement so next up i'm going to get the cable ran and go from there all right so i got the cable ran through first you want to run it up through a hole in the firewall i've already got an existing hole there that my shifter cable runs through that i'm going to mount one day uh but for now it's there so i got the cable ran through Pardon the rat's nest, that's gonna get cleaned up this summer as well. But I got it coming straight through. You want it, oh, as straight as possible to the throttle. Um, but if you have to have bins, obviously make them wider and not super tight. So this comes with this bolt. Uh, you can either use the top side or this side here, but it's that. It's what holds the uh, the cover for the cable. Luckily, there's a hole right here that this fits through. And I could put it out on the other side. So what I think I'm going to do, that's a little bit too tall for me. So what I think I'm going to end up doing right now is drilling the hole right here and flipping this around. Like so. And having the cable come through right there and use this as an existing mounting hole. Because in a normal installation, you use this little L bracket that they provide for the Jeep and you bolt this to it in the throttle and that would go to the throttle body. And basically all this does is this cable just piggybacks off the throttle. So you can use regular foot throttle all day long and simply all this this going to do is this cable is just kind of kind of fold around fold around and just kind of be limp here until you actually pull the throttle the hand throttle and then it'll pull it back some and then you can still use foot throttle as well so that's why it's really used um and so common just because you can use both and it doesn't compromise anything um, so yeah i'm gonna get this drilled out real quick and get this installed um i'll run the cable through it so I can figure out how long this I need to cut this and then I'm gonna need to cut the um, cover down for it too so let me do that and be right back all right so I just got the cable mount uh, mounted I guess um, <laughs> cut a hole on this side got it mounted up you want the open end obviously facing towards the firewall to hold on to the cable cover I just installed the cover, I fished it through, and I got it mounted all the way back up here in the throttle lever. I've kind of got it situated where I want it. And so now what I'm going to do is mark the cover where I want to cut it. Um, with something like this, you want to cut it just a little bit farther back or forward like make it a little bit longer than what you need so that way when you push it in the hole there'll be some sort of tension and it'll keep itself tight um, just so that way it's not falling out either this end or the other end so yeah once I mark it I want to pull this cover back off and get it cut to length all right so for this last step I've got the cable ran through what they want you to do is wrap around the peg for the throttle and use this aluminum crimp that they supply in the kit. You just kind of feed it back through itself and crimp this. Now, I don't necessarily like this style, but I'm sure it'll work and I doubt I'll have any problems with it. I just would have rather have had some sort of uh, eyelet or something to go over this. Uh, I may end up putting my own on there. As of now, um, this will work just fine. So. You want to make sure you use some good crimpers. I got these uh, electrical crimpers. These were these really work well for me. I'm gonna probably use uh, that's that piece right there. So get a good nice crimp over both of those wires. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna get these crimped real quick and button everything up and I'll show you how it works. So, overall, pretty simple install. Um, really, anybody can do it. It's pretty straightforward. It took me, oh, I don't know, probably 15 minutes worth of work to actually do this, and uh, it really is not hard at all. Um, so, yeah, really all you need is just a couple of basic hand tools. You need some sort of grinder uh, or cutoff wheel and a drill. Uh, whenever you cut the guard for the wire, it's got a metal tube on the inside so you want to make sure you cut it and not try and or grind it off with a, some sort of cutoff wheel and not uh try and cut it because you'll just crush it and won't be able to get the cable in but yeah pretty much i mean it's really simple simple to do easy fun install i'm excited to get this thing out in the woods and uh see how it does but yeah appreciate you watching hope to help you out any if you're fixing to uh, install some sort of hand throttle it's all just pretty basic you can go on anything really um but yeah appreciate you watching